Irene Mchuma is going to, give, to be giving us an update on the voter registration uh, that has been ongoing in the country. Irene Mchuma. Nisi, good afternoon. We are in the county of uh, Nairobi and we are here to observe the voter registration exercise that kicked off early this month. This is to ensure that uh, we have the right figures uh, and also find out if at all Kenyans are adhering to the rules uh, set by IEBC and also responding to the second mass voter registration exercise. Nisi, this is the second mass voter registration exercise after the first exercise that IEBC would uh, target 6 million registered voters but uh, we only had 1.5 uh, voters who turned up for the registration exercise and uh, that is why IEBC decided to lobby for the second mass voter registration exercise that would we'll see whether we'll be able to be able to fill the gap and have 4.5 million voters registered ahead of the August 9th general elections. But before this day, we have had leaders calling on especially the youth to collect their identity cards and register as voters. This, as IEB says, says Kenyans should exercise their democratic rights come August 9th. But what has the situation been like on the ground. I'm being joined by registrar of from IEBC right now. His name is Brian Ratemo to bring us up to speed with the picture. How has it been since we started this second mass voter registration exercise to to date now that we are having only a few days to the deadline? Yes, thank you so much, KBC. First of all, I'm Brian Ratemo, just a uh, voter verification clerk, Ngara Ward. So far, I can say the turnout is in good numbers as compared to first phase of registration. And now we urge voters and all stakeholders to come in and help the commission to attain this, the target. What hours have we been receiving high number of voters who intended to register? During the morning hours or is it the evening hours? And what has been their response? So far, evening hours, that's when we have uh, many voters who come to register. That is after work and after, after, after people, uh, the time when people are going home, they pass by, then they register. Yeah, we have experienced more numbers in the evening as compared to the morning hours. You as a registrar from uh, the IEBC, you've also been able to speak to your colleagues in other stations. What are the challenges that they are talking about, including yourself? So far, challenges are minimal since this, this one is the second phase. So the challenges were, we, 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 most of the time we face them during the first phase, but the second phase, I think everything is now okay. It's only the Kenyans to come and register. Thank you, Ratemo. Looking forward to more. Now I'm being joined by uh, one of the Kenyans that I've met uh, doing a registration uh, here at uh, Ngara area. Her name is Purity Msioka. Purity, tell us uh, how has the exercise been for you? Okay, thank you. I'm Purity Musioka. As a youth, I have come to register for the voters' card. That will be added on August. The voters is doing good. I will encourage the other youth to come and re register for the voters' card. That will be added on August to do well. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Now, Nisi, we are not ending it here. We'll be moving to other parts of the city and also our correspondents will be doing the same in other parts of the country and they will be able to see how the day turns out this as we approach the 6th February deadline. Back to you, Nisi.